So either way, I was gonna lie about it, but uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believed in not the Alp. I, I so uh, from what we've seen, in Siberia, they really struggle when they. Normally, normally. Are you ready? Made mistakes in the lead, just completely oh, pulled the <laughs> off. Mm -hmm. Five minute smoke from uh, Siberium, but not sticking together with that five minute smoke. Hmm. Damage on this us too, right? I want to say he's impressed us in the past with this hero. <laughs> Just runs forward and misses the stun, or Mastermind misses that stun. And, uh, uh, yeah, landed the fissure, and they'll get Yamage by himself, grabbing first blood. Wow. Can they get themselves another one in Duke? Yeah, it looks like they definitely can. Wow, Siberia. Quickly on it with a 2 0. Mastermind. Taking out Dugos and Yamich, that's great. The first blood as well, and then Pleb gets both the cord. It was real good. Very much so many here. Repent. The battle begins. Another. <laughs> seen this, uh... Not normally the uh, the level one take, right? Normally, no, but skill's really underrated. But I didn't realize how good it is. 30 attack speed on everybody that attacked target level one. Okay. Like low level tag team. Uh, yeah, I guess so, right? Because it's just bonus damage for Tusk, right? But with the pendants, it's the extra attack speed. I mean, the early game, the attack... The game goes on, obviously, it's value to zip. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually being DK focused to just get harassed up here by both Gaichi and Lil Pleb. Oh, life stealer's courier. Ouch. Dyer's courier has been slain. And that's with the orb of venom on it. Victory. I think it's the first time I've seen shards get used specifically for a courier. I know chat's gonna be like, oh, we see this all the time. Come on, guys. Specifically for the courier. Occasionally, yeah, we see it. Your idol falls. Supposed to defend me here, Mo. Come on. Up, it's you that's falling behind her. <laughs> Just my... once. A flame chat. Chat, uh, best friends. All right, that's fair enough. You're a man of the people. Yeah. Get that? This bloodseeker down in bot lane, by the way, at the moment, is having a great time. You see how low everybody is on the radiant side at the moment? Yeah. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> and 385 movement speed. I'll take it. But, uh, really speaking well, of dogs. speaking of uh, chat, a little chat interaction. We didn't do it last game, Mo. We do it every game. Yeah. But uh, in the chat, press one if you think Wind Strike's gonna win, and if you think Siberium's gonna win, put a two in the chat. And put a three in the chat if you want to see a third, third game, which I feel like would be backing same Siberium. So, same as two. <laughs> It works though. You've you've said a different number. Feel a little bit better about being a little bit uh denied. You know, more unique. Sin's having a good time at the moment too. Yeah, Sin's having a good time, but the Mars. Dyer's is top tower is under attack. It fights it for its life. Okay. Amazing. Soak it in. But we, you know how many times have we seen this? We've said it before. Siberium have this start to the game. It's all about for them. Their weak point hasn't been the laning. Yeah. Game. Embrace a what?
So who's going to be more active here earlier on? It's got to be Siberium, right? They hit that six with both the Lashrak as well as the Bloodseeker. You can kind of move around, do your thing. I think their, their line is more about item time. Mm -hmm. Chen Mech, like a shake of blink, having Yule get great as well. I'm interested to see what Bloodseeker builds as well. They're going to go for a little play here. They've got tag team. He'll immediately pop the rage though. Pendants was used on DK Focus. So Yamish free to get a couple of shots in. Bloodseeker died. Still just having it. It's the greatest feeling in pubs when you play Bloodseeker and you're just like, somebody's loyal. <laughs> Booming around. No. I really don't like this. Can't really pressure this lane, the Bloodseeker. Would they have been able to pressure the lane regardless? No, but that's what I mean. Why have you built? Why would you build with Venom? You can't get that value out of it, right? Yeah. A net worth lead already. Basically, strictly farming other than that first blood up, uh, you know, the first two kills. Yeah, I see the drops bottom. As is tradition. I love what this chest doing already. Actually gets three stacks off at once using the creep as well. Wow. Radiance top tower is under attack. Does he have any stacks on the triangle? Money to burn. No. Uh, when you play Lesh side, you want to stack two camps. Pull yeah. one, pull it in, farm both at once. Feels really good. And now that the life. Well, yeah, so far so good for Siberian. And now, yeah, now that this life is having started the game, so I'm alone a little bit. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Do his own thing. Yeah, it doesn't feel like uh, Mars is going to get a kill there by any means by himself. They're going to go bottom, Fissure. All right, and there's the snowball, so everybody avoids the silence. They'll go on. Damn, they've got the storm hammer. They'll finish him off. It's the first kill for the side of Windstrike, and Aggressive Child is the one who claims it. Sorry about the support there. The pin doesn't even describe it. That's the good speed, right? Dyer's middle tower is learning to fear. Damage. Getting chased on the tusk. He might end up going for a lightning storm and. Yeah, damage. I'm trying to block with those illusions at the same time. I did see him, but. Blood Seekers. Could have potentially gone, but with the Lena coming over. Now the Lena's in so much trouble. Three heroes here mid. They'll get the kill onto Rebel. And, uh, no. whoa, okay. I was gonna say, for a second, if he gets down, I cast his curse in this game. I'll walk away, it's fine. But uh, now they get the uh, the free freedom to push the tier one tower mid. However, Mastermind, he's gonna fill up his mana and go back towards the base. They really need the Radiant Sport to come over to try and... It's the thing, when you saying about Chen Storm or Chen Flesh, Let's just TP's back to base, gets full mana, Chen recalls him. Radiant's back. top tower is under attack. His shell encroaches no more. To assume that they have in the dire jungle. This is three stacks. Mm -hmm. Lesh start to really uh, farm, ramp up his ability to get towards that. Yours or bots, whatever, whichever he wants to go first. I assume it's boots trap with how much gold he saved up, right? Under attack. Yeah, I think so. I can't believe it. they're giving away this with two on three. Has fallen. Which they, they, they can defend it very well because they have all Bottom, they go for Cheshire Cat. Sure, onto the Sven, the chase is done with the tag team. Do they have the damage? They're losing a lot of health on an aggressive child, but eventually he will get yet another kill, this time taking out Cheshire Cat. Let's just lick his lips already. Get that. Uh, and he got the other one with the creep here too. Cane rig on the left. God. Middle tower is under attack. 
Look at all. Wow, this is a bunch of stacks of the jungle if you go through the entire Dyer's thing up there. Middle tower is learning to fear. I really think he should be taken. I think the if Sven comes over and spots him, you'd hate that. Exactly. The longer you leave, the chance you have of him being seen. If you would let four seconds, such a big goal to they require time. The way that the game's going at the moment, Ragent really stuck. The, the chance of them invading into that jungle, not very high. Minimum. <laughs> I'll always remember how foolish you look. Bounty. Time to take to the stack stacks. Again. Is he? Yeah. Has he? Ooh. One of them step. And you got one. That's fine. I love that the Chen's in the area as well to not only get the XP, but also protect the flesh while he... Yeah, protect the flesh. This you is know. actually crazy. Like, this is so much gold. <laughs> Look how far our head is. Sir. Oh my god. The next stack. Yeah. You say protect, Gaethje says free experience. <laughs> Let me have it. I did the hard work. If Mastermind drops to this, I would kind of laugh. It got pretty low. Well, no. The shape just comes in and riches. <laughs> gets like 300 gold. Now he's really close to the bridge. Like, it's like, my so game winning. Lean the kills bot. I mean, I'm not even going to kill that. Style. Oh, the spear. Recall the lesh back in. Oh. If only Shaker had Fisher up. Guys, Fisher's on <laughs> cooldown. I don't know why. <laughs> just automatically went that way. I have no idea what happened. I, just, I don't know where it went. Tower has fallen. Their defense has weakened. Well, what about that stack? Oh, yeah. They both kind of disappeared at the same time. I don't know why. Yeah, I think the Sven came over. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, for, for uh, rating side, they basically just need to delay the game as long as possible. But like we've said, if this Chen and Shaker get ahead, I feel like they're really going to stop putting the pressure on. Well, they should do it. Oh, right? uh, you'd think so. Uh, they certainly have the pushing potential with this Latrac, right? Radiant Force team fights. Is under attack. There is oh, little it can do. Oh, he actually went Midas, though. Flipping a little. Mm. Stun. Laguna and the snowball with the walrus punch. They'll take out little pled. That worked out. It's always nice to have that combo. If I don't think they get this kill though, and now Bloodseeker's back. But the Fisher puts him out of the other side. But they've got the splitter, so Tusk will drop. That's a trade. Circle sure, cool. take down. Take us on with some next level taking of last day, Sim. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No Gale can Dyer's structure. He takes the kill. Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> the stream dies. Chen's getting commended. Meanwhile, her shaker's getting reported. Radiant's bottom tower is fading fast. Dyer's middle tower has been uprooted. He's got the Omni Knight. Radiant's Maybe he wants tower to stay. I just feel so similar again that they were in this really dominant position, Siberia. Not push advantage. Oh, in this spent laser. Illusion. I want to see them get down. I want to see them. Radiant's bottom tower chest. is under attack. It's not even going yours, by the way. Straight for the bloodstone, which I actually agree with. What are your thoughts about? Feeling its mortality. What are you? Th what, are you what are your thoughts about the fact that we see a lot of sharks go early into the eggs? Uh, I, I, top see, tower is under attack. I don't really 100% that item at the moment. Like I think it's really good, but I don't really 100% understand why I complete. Mm -hmm. I want to see more. Dyer's top that. tower is under really attack. Stunned. It fights for its life. It's a new game. So I forget every time. So that's why I get the uh, luxury of asking you <laughs> what your thoughts are on it. I think it's strong, especially with chase potential. Yeah. Damage up. Like that build came in like 
Well, Shrek was popular, and then people were starting to go to the Axe. Like, it was a little bit of an evolution to what they were looking for. And then the Echo slammed down onto the Omni Knight with Mastermind here. Pulse Nova, Dialogue Edict. More than enough damage to get that kill. All the while, though, Sven's continuing to farm. But honestly, though, you know, Omni Knight's the one breaking the smoke there while the Sven and the leader are still just farm. You know, who cares? Mm -hmm. More than happy. All the net worth advantage at the moment basically comes from the supports. Yes, the cores are all slightly further ahead as well, but the, the position four difference in net worth is massive. How well the shake has done it. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine if this lifesteader went for armlet for Titus. How much easier they would. How much more they could push the map right now. It's going to help in the long term. I feel like because the game was going so well for them, it's the. Fear, my Interesting that TK Focus, he forced his way in front of Cheshire Cat and knew he was going to get ruptured eventually. Yeah, Towards bottom, take a look. Yamich, yeah, Walrus Punch on the low track, doing a good amount of damage, but eventually he'll fall to the Pulse Nova that chases on for the rest of the Radiant side. Warcry gets popped, and Iberian continue to coast with this lead. There's four heroes over, and you only kill it. Too bad for Windstrike, but yeah, it's a clear small win for Siberium. For sure. Smart, considering the laning stage he had, has got too much in. Really far behind. Bloodseek is gonna kill up here. You have Rupture. Hey. He's got him low. Uh, TP is not gonna be quick enough. What? Okay. Now that. I'm a Spencer shovel as well. No. Oh wow. dear. I think he just TPs straight away, but he starts getting hit, right? Or you spear and then TP. I think he died the only way he could have died. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Rough. Nothing. That is. Dyer's courier has met its maker. I, 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 it's just the on top of that losing Sven though. That's that's your you know. That's your lifeline. Yeah, I mean, if it's just the Mars that dies. But this comes from this really deep ward. Like, look at... Yeah, Dire Ward is at the moment. It's so difficult to find Sentry on the low ground. But... Yeah, I've got the Yules, Laguna, not really doing that much damage. He points in DJ or... Shards, blood right, arena down and avoiding that silence. Snowball comes in, they might just get both now. Shouldn't stay in a little bit too close and they get the kill on Cheshire Cat and Gaethje. Big pick off. Delay this um, tempo. So we have Echo. Lane. Burking. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mm. It fights TP towards its bottom with a little blood there. TK Focus doesn't have arena or anything. Spear doesn't latch. TK Focus, he's very dead. Link Totem with the splitter. They've got the fissure to follow it up. More than enough control. And uh, yet another kill here as they're going to pressure the bottom tier 2 tower. So we'll see if anybody comes over, because there was a TP started to try and help the Mars, but that was stopped, so TPs are really scarce. As well. So Dyer was just going to... Oh. Uh, Radiant's down, bottom right? tower is under attack. There is little it can do. Radiant's bottom tower... How much time does Sven need? He's going BKB, he's got the Mask of Madness Echo Saber. He needs the BKB. To... This game specifically? more important that he has up against like the slash the blood seeker the shit and even then like tag this rope stops this mobility around the fight which have to and go slam right onto the mars and yet another kill on a dk focus blasted core it's getting uh bullied a little bit i like that I, how i said the mars was having a much better time than he did at the start of the game it died three times in a row yeah, it's my it, bad. You've done to that Mars what that red thread did to LGD. Top lane, last mine. That was unreal. He's a little bit long, low, but yeah, they the turn. Fisher comes out, aggressive child now has to be the one who runs, and 
I don't really think he gets away out of this. Find the rupture. He tries to fight, but there's the blood right. Cheshire Cat gets the kill, and it's an 8k in for Cyberium as they pick up this plus one on Duclos. God damn, I well this game on 2 1 and 11. It feels like he's always in the right place at the right time. Taking yeah. stacks, take kills, turning fights. It was that blink timing, man. That was the difference. He's done a really good job. I really like that he didn't go for Tranquil's first. Considering the start of the game they had, getting that early as timing as possible. Fights. Gonna head into Rick. Yo, Pep giving signal that they're in the Roche pit. Dark out back to Targ. Yeah, no, nothing uh, Radiant can do about this. And this is the second game in a row that they've had a 10k lead, but it feels a lot different than the first game when they had this lead. Because this time, not playing an Alk draft, then they're expecting yeah. it. Yeah. Massively. Sven is struggling. TP Arena. Bloodseeker might die here. Lightning Storm comes in with the Walrus Punch through on a Cheshire Cat. Eventually he'll fall, but he's thrown the rupture onto Aggressive Child. So they finish off the damage. They go after the Sven. They've got the damage. They'll get the kill. Well, Guna Boy doesn't do enough, and they're going to find themselves Rebel as well. GA not up for. So all this lifesteal that was coming through, they can't really do Mine anything about. Radiant's Middle Tower is but it's quite a cool up. My yes. Radiant's Middle Tower is under attack. He should be normally. Is uh certainly a tough situation for Winstrick, and I, I, in my eyes, I, I don't know if I. I see them getting out of it. Hard at the moment. Like they're I should have gone against this fan. The lady said. Yeah. Big thing. And then, you know, stacks gone to the less rack, which completely uncontinued. Now it's 21 charges. He is going for that axe that you talked about. But honestly, I think the less could build anything. This <laughs> matter. We agree there. Anything within reason? No, I don't know. Anything. Legitimately. I like the right. I was unsure about mm -hmm. the Midas, but the way it's played out said it paid off. They have the me what they should have done last game, I think. Have all the heroes that could the less right enabled the alchemist luck. like that they have mech on the chair pipe and he's going lotus on the blood seeker a uh, blink on the shaker to enable mm. this less basically just runs in really difficult to deal with them If there's a way for Windstrike to get back into this game, like, does it come off the back of? Just a, a botched team fight from Siberia? Yeah. Uh, could come off the back of a GA and a B reveal on this. But they need to find a way of, like, testing the shake of a fight starts. At the moment, they don't really have to deal with the Lesh and the Light. Realistically, like dealing with them first. There's so much of this, like, innate. The like, life stealer can always be best as well. Oh, like. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. Five and five to have a breakout, they're really far behind him. trying to figure out the answers for them, but not sure there really are many. 
this is finally time for us to get started one Dyer's courier has been slain Mars oh they killed next one Radiance Middle Tower is under Shut attack. It. it will fall like yeah. a ripe apple. Repent. But Radiance even that, Middle like, tower has fallen. even without the Deso, he yeah. still feels very strong yeah. in the moment. Like, the entirety of the team feels very strong in the moment. Absolutely. Like, he has Aegis still. Like, they can just kind of do whatever they want. He said spend these beat. And go to okay. So they... They really need to try and turtle this game for wind strike. Tower is under attack. I, at this point, I don't even know if the BK is a big difference maker for the event. Like, he needs it, but I don't think it gives them that much of a chance to win the game. I think it, it definitely does give them a much bigger chance, but whether the, you know, like, it goes from like, you know, like 1% to 2%. Like, no, it's doubling, but it's not like the chance. This becomes Dyer's a huge chance. Dude, you bought an iron, it had to double your chance. Dyer's bottom game. tower is good. under attack. It may yet stand. I guess. Radiant's top tower no, has They're just not ready to fight. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So BKB picked up for the Lena. They're going to take these racks. Radiant's top barracks. And nobody is They're looking so to defend this just yet. Or the Sven, who walks into a stun. Aggressive shot as the backup. Racks are down Dyer's on top. Wolf Club gets both of them. How do you gauge on the Radiant side? Playing into Aegis as well. This life still just sits at the front. He, he wants you to come get him. Well, I think they just go again. Radius is gonna smoke. Smoke bro. Blink Arena with the spear. Uh, lands. Hand of God is used. Cheshire Cat will eventually fall. Aggressive Child gets the kill. They've got the double damage on a little pipe. Shards. Put him right. Too aggressive child as the takeout goddamn two heroes dead on the side of Siberia. And they end up losing two goods as well as the damage rupture onto. And as they finish him off, they've got more than enough damage, especially with the buyback coming out from Blood Sea. Here. With the DD shaft test, Radiance Middle Tower. I don't know, the GA comes out. It's the it doesn't matter. He has 24 bloodstone charts. This was absolutely just destroying everybody. Cheshire Cat even bought back on the blood seeker as well. Aegis up front. So, so even if they kill him, Radiance which it doesn't look like they will. Although I say, okay. <laughs> they, they have to kill him again. There Spins up in seven, they'll lose the Omni Bop after a moment ago. Oh, they're gonna get themselves a mid-set of racks. Dive back on both supports here as well. So. Radiance Middle Barracks have been Radiance Middle oh, Barracks have fallen. Now. Start Not Barracks. more than their loss. Last ever. So BKB Arena Spear Lashrak hit with the Laguna, but they've got the Infest to save them. And now they're going to go after Rebel. They'll call GG. They'll even the series up at one. And we will, we'll in fact, go to a game three. Very well done on this one by Siberia. Um, looked a lot cleaner than game one. They played much better this game. I mean, again, I think it comes down to the laning stage. Like, this bot lane, I don't really know what the 